All right, guys, we're back. We're gonna paint the car today. I got the garage pretty clean here. I really should wet it a little bit more, maybe. But uh, yeah, we're ready to go. I already got the first batch of uh, primer sealer already mixed up. So I did three cups for it. Hopefully that should be enough. Um, we're gonna do one coat. We might do a second coat of sealer on it. Then we're gonna go to base coat. And then we're gonna go to clear coat. So it's gonna be a nice long day today. I got the car mostly, it's all prepped. I wiped it all down. I used the tack cloth on it, you know, degreased it, tack cloth on it. It's ready to go. It's looking pretty good too. Very nice. So we got all our lights on, we're ready to go. I'm gonna set this camera on time lapse and we're not even gonna mess around. Let's just get going on this. Enough talk, we need more work around here, right? <laughs> so hold on. All right, guys, we're here. We got the first stage done right here. We got two blemishes. Nice piece of hair front and center on the hood. And we have a drip right here. I couldn't help that. It just, it is what it is. And here, oh, my father's here. <laughs> so yeah, it's all looking pretty good. We're gonna put one more coat on here selectively in spots where I know I did body work. And uh, we'll go from there. So hold on, let me talk to the old man. And we'll go from there. What do you get in? Uh, hold on, go through the front door. Why can't I go down? I, yeah. I put, went to Home Depot and got some screen, keep the bugs out. So uh, yeah, I'll be right back, hold on. All right, we're back here. I did the best I could to fix this sort of stuff. Figures, so there we go. Nice blemish on the uh, front of the hood. And the drip. I'm gonna uh, put another little layer of uh, sealer on certain parts here. And we'll take a look at it and see how it goes. So I'll be back. All right, we're back at it here. We got a uh, second coat on most of the car here. Uh, where it really needed the second coat is where it got it. That's that blemish, the best I can do with that. Hey, it is what it is. It's a garage paint job. Yeah, but this sealer stuff came out pretty nice. Um, up over here. Yeah, we'll see what it looks like with paint over it. But, um, yeah, I guess we're going to have a... We'll be forever living with that uh, little drip right up there. That's because the gun, this right here, I never tightened it. And when I was spraying the roof on the first time, it, it had a drip come out of there. I wiped the drip off that was up up here, but I didn't see that drip over there. So that's what that's all about. Now we got the base coat already poured here. We're using the uh, Auto H, uh, Paint HQ kit, cheap paint. The car's gonna be sitting outside, rain, snow, sun. Um, I, I, I can't justify a garage paint job with me painting it with a uh, quality paint. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, it's gonna come out how it comes out. We'll leave it at that. But uh, yeah, everything's coming out pretty good here. Good coverage. You know, not bad, not bad. Yeah, I wet the floor, but the floor does more hindrance wet than it did dry. What happens is when you put the move the crate, the crater, you, uh, you pull the hose over and it splashes in there and it goes jumps up on the car. So I'm not bothering wetting this again. A little debris stuck in it. I mean, it's in there. It's just not showing up as good on the camera. It is what it is. You know, we're in a garage right now. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, so. Yeah, we're just gonna uh, continue on, continuing on. 
Um, in between the sealer and base coat, it says up to one hour. Um, I'm on about 30 minutes at this point right now. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I got the gun all cleaned up, ready to go. We're running a 1-4 uh, nozzle on this thing. Uh, that's what the instruction says. It does come with a good set of instructions right here. So, yeah, tells you everything. Uh, pressure for the base coats between 27 and 30. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go from there. So, uh, let me get, uh, get going here and we get the paint finished mixing up. I just got to pour the reducer into that. This is one-to-one, -one, the paint. Clear coat was, I mean, the... Uh, the sealer was uh, four to one, and clear coat will be four to one. So yeah, this stuff looks pretty good. And this is just reducer. And there's different slow, medium, and fast. And that's basically for the whatever the temperature is. And since it's summertime, we're above 75. All right, so I'm gonna set this up on time lapse, and we're gonna start spraying some uh, base coat on here. So hold on one second. All right, we're back. I forgot to turn the camera on. I got one coat of base coat on here. Looking pretty good, actually. I mean, yeah, we got a lot of debris in the paint. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm draining the water out of the uh, air compressor. Had a couple water spots come up. But yeah, one coat done. You don't really notice that drip over there anymore. I mean, we still gotta put clear coat on too. I'm gonna do one more. Um, one more base coat on this thing. Takes about a half an hour. Ah, we could see my body work here a little bit. Yeah, huh. Oh well, live and learn, right? Overall though, it's coming out pretty good. Yeah, for a base coat, this shines pretty good. All right, so uh, hopefully I don't forget to put the camera on this time, put the second coat on. So hold on one second, I gotta mix a little bit more paint. That's two coats of paint on here. Getting ready for the clear next. I will say that uh, Iowata, what is this freaking gun called? And that's the Iowata gun's pretty damn good. Smooth. Nice and smooth. Yeah, very nice. I mean, far from perfect. My body work's not that good. I can see spots in it. Weird. I could have done a way better job on the body work, but hey, my shirt hit over here. So I got a shirt mark right there. Otherwise, this would have been perfect, except for the shirt mark. <laughs> Very nice. Um, yeah, it's going to look good with a coat of clear on this thing. And I will say the screen I got here from Home Depot is 40 bucks. Well worth it. Keeping everything out of here. When I was just putting primer on this thing uh, last week or beginning of this week, um, shit was just blowing all over the place on this thing. Now we pretty much have nothing. So you can see a little bit of, see a little lump, couple lumps on the roof where I could have sanded better. Meh, what are you gonna do, you know? I'm doing the best I can with what I got. And that's it, like here we go. That kind of sucks, but what are you gonna do? I did uh, drain the, uh, the uh, air compressor once, and I changed the filter, these water catchers, right here. 
I have a new one on there. Oh, it's already got shit in it again. And I have one more left, just for the clear. Should be hanging up on this wall, right? Yeah, whoa. Yep, I got one more right here. We'll throw that on. And let's take a look here. Let's see, how much longer do we got? Clear coat, face coat. 30 minutes. So 30 minutes before I can put the uh, clear coat on. So we're gonna take a break. How's that sound? <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in a little bit here. We go put. This is where the hard. This is the hard part. The clear coat. This is where the runs. I run it every time. So we'll see how she goes. That's all I can say. This part is. This is the hard part. So hold on. All right, we're back. I was just reading the instructions a little bit further here for a uh, base coat. And what it says is, um, apply clear coat within eight hours. So I'm gonna go take a break for an hour or two. We're gonna let this dry nice. And we're gonna sand this, uh, these blemishes out of this fender right here. That's about the only spot, the hood. I can live with the hood. This I can't live with. So yeah, we'll go. I'm gonna go upstairs. Go get some air conditioning. Mm, that's coming out okay over there. Yeah, we're pretty good. Well, oh, what about that piece of hair that was over here? Yeah, that's all covered up. Okay, hey, for a garage paint job, I mean, it is what it is. But yeah, I'm happy with it. So it's uh, 2:30 right now. Uh, 2:35. We'll come back out here about uh, 4 o'clock. I should be able to scotch bright that those blemishes out of the fender. And then we'll put on uh, two coats of clear. Plus we'll let this, uh, this uh, air compressor uh, cool off for a little bit. So let me clean the gun real quick and uh, we'll go from there. Hold up. Alright, we're back here. It's about uh, it's 4.30, a little bit after 4.30 now. Um, we got this better, not perfect. It's good enough where I could live with it. We'll put it that way. Um, let's see. Yeah, so we got the clear coat mixed. I'm going to set you guys up on the uh, time lapse again. And let's uh, see what we can do here. So, um, yeah, this is, this is the part I screw up where I get at least a run. We're going to try not to do that. And we're going to go uh, spray this a little bit drier than normal for me. <laughs> so let's see how it goes. So hold on. First coat's looking pretty good, actually. Very nice. So far, I haven't found a run yet. And be honest with you, if I could get the uh, next layer of clear coat on here, next coat, I might not even have to wet sand this. This freaking gun is amazing right here. And that's the Iowetta here. Yeah, pretty good. Ah, you know what? We will have to wet sand it, to be honest. I have to get all the debris out of here. But yeah, really nice. A shame I didn't uh, focus more on my body work. <laughs> coming out real nice yeah no runs yet i want to spray it exactly yeah you can see a little bit of a beer not a bear spot but a little light right here this is that fender that got all the sh crap in it all right so yeah we are gonna do a little wet sanding yeah no runs
No, cheap paint's pretty good. All right, well, I gotta mix some more uh, clear, and then we're gonna do one more. So, hold on. Hey Mike, this is what old dude has to say to you. He's impressed. Wing done. You owe me a six pack. Nah, it came out really, really good. I, I can't even find one fall. <laughs> hey, that hey, that happens though. Once in a like while. water, yo, like water. Yeah. There's a lot of debris in it though. Yeah, it came out. Alrighty, we're all set here. The car's drying. It's almost pretty much dry. It's a couple hours later. It is now uh, about 7.30, 7.35, and uh, let's see. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm ecstatic at how well this came out for a garage paint job. I mean, my expect, but you got to remember, you got to have expectations of what a garage paint job is. There is debris in the paint. I have to wet sand it, but this stuff is like, Looks like it's wet still, but it's it's not. No runs. I did not run any um, clear whatsoever here. Everything is nice. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Yeah. This uh, auto this auto paint HQ. I'll give it two thumbs up, especially for the price. Uh, let's see. Yeah, everything looks pretty good here. I mean, this thing's nice. If it wasn't for the little uh, dust in the air here, you won't even have to wet sand this thing. It came out that good. A shame. Yeah, maybe next time it's worth the five hundred dollars to go rent a spray booth for today. Definitely gonna need help though when you rent a spray booth, because you got to be out of there within so many hours. But yeah, pretty good. Everything's just the way. Like I said, it, it, um, if you're thinking garage paint job, it came out very nice. Very very nice. One thing I'm not happy with is these side moldings. And I did order new ones from LMR, but they didn't fit on here right. They, they I don't know, they're, whoever made them, they're, the gap here on the top here was like a quarter inch. And I shaved them down. I did everything trying to get those things to fit on. The new ones, and I called LMR, they just refunded my money. I still got them, they're out in the back. One thing I kind of miss right here where the molding goes. They got it everywhere else. It's just not there. But wow, look at this. Yeah, let's see. And that tube right there, that tube, that's where the new molding, door moldings are. But they're, they're pointless, so I can't really get any new ones. If they don't fit, what, what point, what, what's the point of them? You know what I mean? So anyways, we're gonna end this video here. I'm um, really happy with the way this came out. Um, for a garage paint job, I mean, freaking awesome. Awesome. I mean, you do see the little speckles of dust in there. But like I said, if your expectation is a garage paint job, you're going to expect that. And you have to do a little work. In two weeks, maybe a month from now, I'll wet sand it with, you know, 1,500, 3,000 paper. Do the whole car. Then count, buff it all out. It'll... it'll It'll look okay. It'll never be a professional in the paint booth type of thing where it just, it's not, you're not gonna get that in a garage like this, you know? So anyways, we're gonna end the video right here. It's long enough. And yeah, next one is we're gonna start assembling everything and get her back on the road. So until then, see you guys later. Bye-bye.